Hey friends, Allison here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm dropping by to share with you a new scrapbooking layout that I created using the Begin Kit, Story Kit by Allie Edwards. I thought this kit was fitting to share a story about the twins growing up and some of the things that they are experiencing as they grow, like every kid does. Um, this layout ends up being the journaling at least ends up being like a letter to the twins. Um, so it's kind of personal, kind of sensitive, maybe more sensitive than it is personal. But um, it was something that was heavy on my heart and I wanted to share with them. So to begin, I am creating a hinge that is going to create a flip on my layout. One side of the hinge is going to have my photo, which I print at three by four inches here at home. And then the other side of the hinge has this journaling card from the begin kit. I thought about here, I'm trying to figure out which way the hinge is supposed to go and which way my flip out is supposed to open. I actually end up messing it up. And so you will see in a little bit how I attempt to fix that. Um, it ends up being a bit of a hot mess, <laughs> but it is what it is. It worked out in the end and I'm quite happy with it. This layout is very simple, um, but that's okay because the most important part of this layout is actually the words. So I also knew that I wanted to trim out this four by eight journaling card as well. I wanted just the words on that journaling card and not the white space on it so I trim that down. My plan is going to be to adhere it to the right hand side of my layout base and here I am showing you how I fixed my little boo-boo. Um, I put my hinge on the wrong side of my photos and so I took it apart and then ended up gluing them together in the process and then realized they needed to come apart again so that I could make my hinge and it was just a hot mess. But anyways, I got it separated enough using my little spatula for my Cricut so that I could get the hinge back into the right place. And then I used liquid glue. Here you see the liquid glue to attach everything back together so that it does not come apart in the future. And now the hinge is on the right side, the appropriate side of my journaling card and photo. So it'll flip out to the outside right hand of my layout base instead of into the layout. So I, now I'm just testing everything out to make sure my theory actually works. And once I'm happy with that, I'll use my ATG to attach glue to the back side of that, what was the four by eight journaling card, glue my hinge to it, and then apply some more glue to where the hinge is so that everything gets stuck properly. Oh, before I do that here, I uh, realized that there was a little bit more that needed to be trimmed off. So I did that and then adhered everything together. I got a little confused about which way the start here or start again. Start here, I think it is, um, was supposed to go. There is a tiny little phrase in between start and here, I can't remember exactly what it is, but you'll see it at the end of the video. Um, and if I put it the one way, it would be upside down. But if I put it the other way, it would work out. So I was just trying to work out which way it was supposed to go. That is all adhered together. I'm going to add one of these little chipboard circles from the begin kit as well. I played around with this gray one that says not ready, <laughs> which would have worked perfectly well for my story. But I decided to add this um kind of pink and yellow one that says something about starting the next phrase, next phase of this adventure, which I thought worked perfectly well too. So I'm just going to use my uh, liquid glue to attach that to the bottom of my photo. The layout base is just plain white cardstock that I used my Cricut to draw a pattern into onto in the background. I used a different color pen this time. It is called Wine. So it's like a really nice um, burgundy type color. 
And then I typed my, or printed my journaling over top of it and then attached everything else to the right hand side of the page. Here's the close ups. Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. I hope you enjoyed my layout and I hope you join me again. I'll be back again soon with more creative inspiration. Bye friends.